Archdiocese Archbishop Anthony Moheria has cautioned the political class against squandering the opportunity handed to them by Kenya's young populace by allocating themselves senior government positions in the name of an all-inclusive broad-based approach to restore the nation. Moheria spoke a day after the ODM party bagged four cabinet slots in President William Ruto's reconstituted cabinet. He has advised the president to prioritize integrity amongst individuals he appoints to serve with him as one of the demands by Gen Z's. And as Kamau Mwangi reports, the archbishop has cautioned that failure to listen to Kenya's young population could easily polarize the nation. Hours after President William Ruto nominated Minority Leader Opio Wandai, nominated Member of Parliament John Badi, and the Orange Democratic Movement's Deputy Party Leaders Weekly for Paranya, and Ali Hassan Joho to his new law cabinet, Nyeri Aktaios is Archbishop Anthony Muheria has cautioned the political class against taking advantage of the situation in the country to reward themselves under the guise of a broad-based government meant to onboard all Kenyans. Inclusive conversations are deep listening, deep listening to people who don't think like you, deep listening that is broad, that is beyond leadership of politics, that is with the corporates, that is with religious leaders, that is with the young people, that is with the workers, that is with the journalists. It's an inclusive conversation. It cannot be an instrumentized dialogue. And after a month-long protest by the youth of the country, Mueria is skeptical about the steps the administration is taking in addressing issues raised by anti-government protesters, particularly when it comes to the country's governance. A dialogue seems to have gotten the idea like, what is the share that I get? What's in this for me? No, it's an inclusive discussion, conversation, where I listen to what you have to say, really. And when I listen, I make it mine and find how can I find space for what you've told me in my discourse and in my action. That's what this country needs. The religious leader asking President Ruto to nominate individuals known to have the highest levels of integrity to his cabinet, advising him to consult widely and not rush to make appointments that will further derail the country's healing process. Integrity is also hearing not what you want to hear, but hearing what is being said and allowing yourself to be critiqued, criticized corrected and suggestions to be made to you. Suggestions that may not be according to your way of thinking, but yes, will help to build this noble and great Kenya that all of us really are longing. Kamau Mwangi, Citizen TV. Thank you for staying.